a little update on the collection Hana Fubuki. I haven't really started. I mean, I have, but I haven't done much. So I don't really have a lot of progress to show you today because I was really, really busy. I am still continuing with my driver's license. Yeah, I know. <laughs> It's taking so long. I'm getting closer now. But anyway, I started cutting out little flowers because you always ask me how I make my flowers. And I just drew flowers. I scanned them onto the scanner, onto the computer. And then I multiplied the drawing in the program and then I printed it out after scaling to the size I wanted. So I now have several sizes and they are on a sticker paper. Or like a label paper so it's sticky and I can just stick it onto the metal and cut it out. There's actually something I want to talk to you about today and that's algorithm. Social media algorithm, Instagram algorithm <laughs> and I'm sure that most of you who have social media and use it for your business, for your art accounts etc have had your butt kicked <laughs> by this algorithm. Let me elaborate. Usually after you make a post and publish it on Instagram algorithm will decide on how many people will see this post. Usually it's about 5 to 10 percent of your followers that will see your content and then there's also people who are not following you who might discover you through the discovery feed and depending on how many people interact with your post uh, initially after posting that lets algorithm know if your post is worth showing to other people and it's crazy <laughs> it can be very frustrating for most of the makers because obviously people will save your post if they want to save it people will comment on it if they want to comment on it every action like that can either broaden your reach or lower it and it's very sad because it should work like this but at the same time most of the makers that I know and follow they all have the same issue people are not seeing our posts so where am I getting at with this I recently was very frustrated because of this and I can see my friends being really frustrated too and my thought process was well we cannot be dependent on algorithm and social media. What can you do to not be dependent on social media algorithm? Here are some ideas that I myself will be testing out in the following months. Having a platform other than social media. Start building your presence online with a simple website. It doesn't have to be an expensive option or even e-commerce all at once. You can start with a gallery, a portfolio, an about page, easy contact form, FAQ and all necessary info in one place that's easily accessible to your potential customers and your audience. Start an email list. It is the best way to always reach people who want to hear from you. They sign up for this newsletter so why not drop them an email once a month with updates fun messages and upcoming releases this option is way too underrated while it's the best way to always directly reach your audience keep watching as i will elaborate on this later in the video start building trust with google why is it important to build your online presence early on? Because it all works towards trust you have with Google or Google has towards you. You are telling them that you are a real person and a real business. The more you link your sites together, the better the trust. And that trust matters in terms of SEO. Search engine optimization. If Google trusts you, it will rank you higher. That's why it's good to link your social media with your pages and spend more time working out the SEO. Reuse your social media posts and blog posts. You've written great captions and took awesome photos. You've worked so hard on this, so why not turn this ready content into an evergreen one and use it on your site too? I'm one to speak. I could have been doing this for such a long time now, but I neglected this. So this will motivate me to turn my content into posts too. And what I mean by evergreen, you know when you post on social media, like Instagram for example, oftentimes your content reaches the most people in the first 24-48 hours of being posted. The chances of your content being seen by people later on is much much lower. Evergreen 
means that your content has the ability to be found anytime by anyone. And actually, Pinterest also have this option. It's much easier to always have your content being found on there. And same goes with websites. Before we move forward, let's hear from today's sponsor. I want to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor, Zyro. Zyro is exactly the alternative that I believe is worth considering when you're serious about growing your online presence while not being dependent on the social media algorithm. Zyro is the most affordable website builder on the market with beautiful templates, fast websites and powerful e-commerce features. It will save you hundreds of dollars per year that you can reinvest in your business. Zyro AI Website Generator is a feature that makes Zyro stand out among other website builders. It can build your website design according to your individual needs. All you have to do is answer what you're looking for. The AI will generate several website templates that you can use. You can choose from those templates or start again if none of the options work for you. Zyro is a perfect platform to start with if you've never had a website before. Even if you are a beginner, every plan offers access to AI tools which will easily help you build a professionally looking website. Online stores built with Zyro load extremely fast. It's an important factor as speed increases your sales and helps you rank better on search engines, not to mention it gives users a much better experience. Zyro offers 24-7 support, so if you need help at any point, don't hesitate to connect with a Zyro support team member, a real person, not a bot, who will be happy to help you. Don't worry if you change your mind. All Zyro website plans have a 30 30-day money-back guarantee. You can always cancel your subscription and get your money back. Grab Zyro's deal for a limited time only. Click the link below or use my code STARDUST to get an exclusive discount plus three months free and a free domain for a year with any yearly plan. I'm still using this paper bird for sewing. I use it to catch the dust, silver dust and any little pieces that are falling off of my bench peg while I'm sewing. <laughs> Such an easy tip, but it's very useful. I currently collect my dust and scrap in this little box over here. So whenever I'm finished sewing, I take this little brush and I just use it to pop all of the dust into this little box. Let me ask you a question. Have you made any reels for Instagram or TikToks for TikTok? Then why aren't you uploading them onto YouTube? Just a thought. <laughs> You don't have to start a full-blown YouTube channel to upload them onto YouTube because I don't know if you know, but YouTube also have something like Reels and TikToks and that's called Shorts. I haven't been doing many of those, but I decided to give it a go just now. <laughs> so if you are following me on YouTube, you might be seeing more Shorts from me. I want to test it out and see how that would work for me. Again, you don't have to start a whole YouTube channel. You don't have to start making making videos, worrying about monetization. You could re-upload content that you've already made. You've already made that. It's no extra work for you. If you want to extend your reach and use other apps too, you could re-upload this content, for example, onto YouTube in a form of YouTube Shorts. Just a thought something to consider. <laughs> There's always extra audience for you to get. You could direct people from YouTube to your Instagram. I would definitely recommend trying that out. So my plan for the next months definitely will be to definitely will be to invest my time and resources into building my presence online on Google, all of the SEO, because I want my site to be found organically, everyone who is searching for jewelry, because not everyone is searching for that on social media. And it doesn't have to mean huge money investment. It could actually mean just spending extra time on learning. There are so many free learning resources online, starting with YouTube, for example, or blog posts. And there are also webinars or paid courses. Yes, but they are not very expensive. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to focus on building email list because that way you can always reach your customers. Always. On social media, 
they might see your post, they may not see your post. But with email, you will always end up in their inbox. You also have flexibility when it comes to content. You can add photos. You don't have to add photos. You can only send a short text. You could add links. But anyway, so yes, for me, it will be SEO, building website, focusing on email list, reaching my customers using these ways. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.